Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to The Gaming 4. In today's map review, we're going to be covering a map called Main, and this map was created by Captain Luke. But to start us off, here's the score it got, and how it scored in all the different categories. And as you guys will probably notice, this is going to be the lowest scored that we have done so far. Now, of course, for Captain Luke, if he's watching this, don't be discouraged. Um, obviously, not all maps can be top of the line, and probably as we continue, we're going to see more and more less popular maps that probably won't do as well. And that's because for the first bit of this map review series, we've been taking from the very most popular, and we're going to start moving into some more of the fan-made, and some of the ones that still need a lot of work. So don't be discouraged that it's got such a low score, there's obviously a lot to work on, but there's a lot of good things that happen in your map as well. So let's start by going over some of the strengths of this map and then we'll move on to some of the weaknesses. One of the better things of this map was the natural terrain. Throughout the map there was a lot of good natural detail in terms of the slope of the land and how he incorporated that into his cities. There was also a lot of big rock formations and when you combine the two it actually creates a really beautiful terrain. So that was probably one of the best parts of this map. A second really good thing about this map was the amount of zombie spawns. I actually found it quite refreshing how many there were because as an unturned survivalist I kind of want to have a lot of action when I try to survive. When there's a lot of zombies present, it really keeps you on your toes when you're raiding, and it makes it a lot more interesting when you're moving through towns trying to gather supplies. Another good thing about the zombies is that the zombie drops, when you killed them, were actually really pretty good. So, not only were there a lot of zombies, but they were actually worth killing for good gear itself. Another thing this map included that maybe a lot of them don't really is that there was a good amount of seeds and natural farming equipment. Now a lot of uh, maps sort of just ignore this part and it's really too bad because without it you can't really do the natural side of unturned survival. You know where you just sit out in the woods and farm all the time. Now another good thing that's sort of related to that is that Captain Luke also included natural animal spawns and berry bushes. Now those two things are also quite uh, neglected by a lot of larger maps as well. And lastly, one of the nicer things that was also included in this map were boats, planes, and helicopter spawns. Now, they're not necessarily the most important, but because there was a lot of water in this map, the boats definitely helped. And also, just having planes and helicopters make moving through the map so much easier. So, it's really good that he included those, and pretty much every larger map should actually include those. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the strengths of the map. Now, of course, they're a little bit shorter than some of the other maps, and that's sort of reflected by the overall score of the map. But, let's move on to some of the weaknesses of this map. And and a lot of the weaknesses were very critical to actually playing the map. So pay attention here as all map makers and make sure you don't make these same mistakes. So the first one I want to mention, and I've mentioned it many times before, is that there was almost no food in this map. And of course that's a big issue because as a survivor you need to eat and drink to survive. Now of course there were some food spawns, but there were definitely not nearly enough. So if you play this map, expect to starve multiple times, and that probably really was one of the main issues with surviving in this map. Another main issue is that there were no item spawns for a lot of the basic melee weapons needed for crafting and basic survival. So such as a handsaw, an axe, stuff like that, that you really need to actually fully craft higher level gear. Another thing related to melee weapons is that there really were not enough decent weapons for the number of zombies he included. Now of course I mentioned before that I did enjoy the amount of zombies he had, but that was after, you know, you're able to get geared up. So it's sort of a double-edged sword. Obviously you want to have a lot of zombies, but the issue with that is it's going to make it too difficult to survive if you don't provide the survivors with some sort of decent melee. So there definitely were some melees around, but they were not the type that you could take on hordes of zombies with. Another thing this map lacked that was kind of odd is that it kind of lacked a good amount of car spawns that were spread out through the map. Now there were car spawns on the map, and of course Captain Luke did a good job of adding airship spawns and boat spawns, but the fact that there were no car spawns or not enough really made it hard to get to the locations that had the nicer vehicles. Another thing that was not really the biggest deal in terms of survival, but was more of a sort of stylish thing in the map, is that the detail in the map was quite poor actually. Now some areas were detailed pretty decently, but other areas were not detailed at all. If you go to the main city, you're going to be expecting to find many buildings that just have no detailing in them whatsoever. And of course, it takes a lot of time, and that's part of the trouble of map making, is that adding the small details really is kind of tedious. But it makes all the difference when it comes to the actual interest and style of your map, you know, where it's actually satisfying to play in raid areas. And lastly, the last sort of thing has to do with the higher tier areas of the map. Captain Luke did a good job of including higher tier areas in his map, and every map should have some of those areas that you need to work towards. The issue with them is that when we raided them, we did not find enough materials in there to actually make it worth 
rating them. So for example, if you're going to raid a high tier area of the map, you're expecting to find a lot of good automatics, maybe an Alice pack, you know, a lot of ammo, something that makes it really easy to survive later on. Well, we did find some of those things. We did find an Alice pack, but there's a large lack of ammo and actually getting to those areas would have been really not worth it when it comes down to how much you get out of it. All right, so that's pretty much it for the weaknesses of this map. Obviously, there's a few more that I could not mention. Of course, if you guys are interested in uh, checking out the map there's the link below once again here's the score that the map got and sort of why it got that thank you all for watching please like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see some more i will see you all later